Pokemon Home is out now, and in addition to all the mons from previous gens, we now finally have access to the Hisuian Pokemon from Legends Arceus. In this video, I'll be going over all of them and how you can use them in Scarlet and Violet. If you guys enjoyed the vid, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, starting off with Big Arcanine. Hisuian Arcanine, this mon's sick. I love this mon. So, for starters, Fire Rock, uh, which is not the best defensive typing, however, it is pretty good offensively, I'd say. Um, he has access to, to strong moves like Flare Blitz uh, and Head Smash, which is super hype. And, you know, the thing about these moves though, is they, you know, they, they have a lot of recoil when you use them, which is not fun. So, uh, what a Game Freak dude, they decided to, to show some love to this Pokemon as it's so deserved and they blessed it with a Rock Head. Yes. Oh, it's so, it's so good. It's so beautiful. So it can just spam its stabs with like basically no consequence. I mean, I guess, you know, there is the, the risk of missing head smash, but like, I still feel like, you know, it's, it's worth running because head smash with no recoil is pretty juicy, I'd say. Um, you know, on top of that, he's got pretty, pretty standard moves that Arcanine normally has like close combat, uh, extreme speed. He also has, uh, you know, stuff like Iron Head, Morning Sun. Outrage, although I don't know, I don't think you'd ever want to run that, probably. Uh, Psychic Fangs. Also has Rock Side, which is cool. Stealth Rock, which is a neat little addition to his arsenal. Stone Edge, but he, uh, honestly, you should probably just run, always run Head Smash, because it's the same accuracy, but Head Smash is stronger and no recoil, so hey. Uh, also, access to Wild Charge, which, again, with Rock Head, uh, no recoil, which helps it out quite a bit, because, you know, Wild Charge, not really a great move, because, you know, it's pretty weak, considering that it has recoil so most of the time it's not really worth it but on this mod i feel like you know it could possibly be worth running because you know since you're not going to take recoil it's much easier to just click it and spam it and on top of that it gives you coverage for those pesky water types which can give arcanine some trouble uh yeah besides that i think e-speed is probably like probably want this like almost always just because you know it's a great move priority all that uh yeah aside from that you know you could pretty much run like whatever if you don't want wild wild charge just whatever coverage move you want on the on that slot like you run close combat psychic fangs uh whatever whatever you need really uh but yeah he's pretty straightforward he's not there's not a lot to him you just kind of i think bandit is pretty much always the way to go because like i mean i guess you could do scarf but like i don't think like especially with e-speed i don't think that extra speed is super necessary um I think the best way to use this mod is just to, just to click buttons, basically just do obscene amount of damage with your with your stabs. You can honestly, you can even run, run like adamant if you wanted to, just go, just go full power, unless, you know, maybe, maybe you want to uh, hit a certain speed tier with Jolly, I don't know what you want to outspeed off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, I guess you could take that into consideration, but aside from that, um, yeah, I think he spawns pretty pretty straightforward, but I think he's he's super sick and fun to use. Especially give this mon a try on a sun team for sure. Cause just hit just clicking flare blitz in the sun with no recoil, it's just uh it's 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 an amazing feeling. It really is. Uh beyond that, I think the main thing you wanna think about with this mon is what terra type to use. Um of course I think both its stabs, like fire or rock, are make for great terra types because like your stab moves that you're spamming already just get that much stronger so uh i feel like rock's probably the go-to right just because so you can have an even stronger head smash but you could also run fire again like if you're on a sun team or something like that just like be like stupid have a stupid strong flare blitz uh or beyond that you could just go like terra normal and just have like stab e-speed which is always nice. I mean, you know, you see that on Dragonite a lot. So hey, why not? I'm sure it could uh, work out pretty great if you're feeling up to it. But yeah, uh, and again, I think you pretty much always want to run this mon defense or offensive. Excuse me. I don't think defensive is very good on this mon because like Fire Rock again, it's not not great defensive typing. A lot of weaknesses and not a lot of resists. Um, I think if you want to run. Uh, defensive Arcanine, you're better off just with regular Arcanine, because uh, I think he still has you know access to all his stuff, right? Well, he probably doesn't have teleport anymore, right? Yeah, uh, but he still has Will-O-Wisp, uh, Morning Sun, right? 
yeah, all that. So, uh, yeah, I think if you want defensive, just go go with this boy, probably. Oops. Uh, where the pfft. E speed. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Something like this works, but yeah. Suyin, though, I think you definitely want just go full offensive. I think that's where he really shines. And I think this Pokemon has some potential. I don't think he's going to be amazing, but I think he's like, you know, maybe like, maybe like a UU Aryuman, like just like <clears throat> punch holes and stuff, uh, which is always fun. So yeah, uh, nothing, nothing much good things to, to say about Hisui and Arcanine, honestly. Uh, however, I, I'm not sure I can say the same for, for this next guy. Um, so Electrode, he's grass now. That's neat, I guess. Uh, ground is now neutral, but uh, now he's weak to poison and bug and fire, and I think that's it. And ice, and ice. Flying's neutral though, because he's part electric, so that's nifty. So, I mean, it's an okay type. Like it's interesting. I mean, Rotom Mo uh, has his type already, and it's like I think it's, I'd say it's like solid on him. Not great, but like still. Um, but on Electrode, I don't know. I'm a little, a little more skeptical. Um, just has, still has the same standard moves uh, that like regular Electrode has. Uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, he's pretty he's pretty much just Electrode now, except he's he can do he can do grass stuff. So that's it, you know that's fun, I guess. Um, he can still do the the. Does he have light screen? Why doesn't he have? Why does he have a light screen? Excuse me. Okay, well I guess you could run reflect. Um, and only reflect actually no it's not even it's not even worth it because you know I feel like Electrode used to do that run dual screens right but I guess he can't with this one okay then uh, well what he can do because I mentioned the, the grass stuff he does have leech seed now so you can run like a sub leech seed set um, I don't really know what you want uh, some proof probably better actually I don't really know what you'd uh, want to run with it I mean probably just dual stab right like Giga Drain discharge I guess I guess this is said sure um beyond that though I feel like you know you could, you could probably do something with like Terra you know maybe nice nice uh Terra Blast Ice why not you know get a little get a little crazy uh, you can have like T-Bolt uh Volt Switch and uh Probably like Leaf Storm, because you get that right, yeah, and then you could just go like Specs or something, and this is, this is probably like an okay set. It's probably okay. I don't know. I really don't have that much to say about the Suyin Electro, because I don't think he's that great. I mean, he's probably still like an upgrade from Electrode, but like not by much. Uh, and yeah, also gets Taunt, so that's cool. Always nice to have a fast Taunt Mon. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know. I mean, he gets... Chloroblast, which is interesting. It's basically like Mind Blown or uh, Steel Beam, except it's a grass grass move. So it's basically, you know, it's a special move, really strong, but you you lose half your health when you use it. So I mean, I mean, one one fifty base power is pretty hype, but like I don't know if it's worth the recoil, especially when like you got Leaf Storm already. So like I don't know. I, I just I don't. Know. I feel like it's probably not worth it usually. But I, I mean, you know, I'm sure he's okay. Probably, probably gonna be low tier still. But hey, hey, it's something. It's something, I guess. Anywho, moving on to Typhlosion. Now, this this was a very necessary upgrade. Uh, I like this mod a lot. So he's Fire Ghost now instead of Pure Fire. The Fire, awesome. Uh, does not have Flash Fire anymore. Instead, he has Frisk, which is a <clears throat> bit of a downgrade in my opinion. It's a bit unfortunate. Wish he could have still had Flash Fire, but aside from that, I think this mod's just he's just strictly better than Typhlosion because he still gets Eruption, which is like Typhlosion's thing. Uh, but on top of that, he has a new Ghost move called uh, what is it called? I always forget this name. Infernal Parade, crazy crazy move. So if you if you look here and read the description, it has a 30% chance to burn, but also it's double in power if uh, the mon you're attacking as a status condition so it's basically like hex plus scald at the same time which is ridiculous uh you can just you have a chance to burn and if you do burn 
then you're doing twice as much damage. So this this move is like kind of insane. It's pretty crazy. Um, honestly, it's pretty like just like no drawback. Uh, it's like very easy to spam because again, if, it's like if you, if you get the burn on them, then you're just like, doing even more damage. So it's it's pretty crazy. I feel like you can spawn, you can snowball with this move pretty quickly. Uh, but if that you know if you're not feeling that, maybe you know. I mean, like, the 60 base power is not strong enough, and, like, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to, like, just fish for the burn. You can just click Shadow Ball instead, which is always consistent, always nice. Uh, on top of that, you know, he gets all the other standard fire moves that Typhlosion normally has, like Flamethrower and Lava Plume and all that. Overheat, um, he also has access to Focus Blast still, which is, uh, fantastic coverage for any Ghost type. Because you can hit those dark types, those normal types, all that stuff. So yeah, this mon, this mon is pretty sick. Uh, I feel like you pretty much always want to run a choice set. Uh, specs sounds pretty, pretty hype. Uh, you probably run like overheat. Uh, maybe you don't want to run eruption uh, with specs. Maybe you could just run like flamethrower instead. Uh, and this set's pretty pretty crazy already because you're doing uh big damage also i forgot to mention that they switched they switched uh typhlosion stats up a bit they took away some points from speed and put it in special attack if i'm not mistaken so he's a little slower but he's stronger now which i think i think it's a fine trade-off um also let me check do you you don't have trek okay just making sure uh but i think the better set of the two is probably scarf because then you can you have scarf eruption which is always super hype because then you, you faster, you can just outspeed and then get off super strong fire move before they can hit you and make it weaker. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think this mod's pretty good. I mean, fire ghost is like always been amazing dual stab, you know, like whether it's Chandelier or Blacephalon or Skeledurge or whatever, like it's just, it's just great. There's not a lot that resists both of it. And like you even got like focus blast just in case. Like I don't know if you find like a, a Tyranitar or something. Um, and yeah, he's just freaking. He's really dope, and I think he's big, big improvement from Typhlosion with the with the ghost typing. I think he's sick. And again, like Arcanine, I think he's even better on some teams because then your eruption just becomes even stronger. And of course, you can still you can just Terra Fire and it's even stronger that way uh, I feel like Terrifier is probably what you want most of the time maybe sometimes Terra Ghost but I think I, I said just like have your fire moves be even stronger than they already are uh, so yeah Typhlosion very cool mon glad to see he got an upgrade next up we got Quillfish now you may be, may be wondering Mr. Squad Leader why are you talking about Quillfish he's, he's not even fully evolved anymore what, what what is there to say well well dear viewer there's a lot to say because quillfish is a pretty pretty hype pokemon first off regular quillfish not that bad has his uses but now this quillfish can run a violate which is amazing because he also has access to intimidate so he's actually pretty bulky with the violate also dark poison amazing typing only weak to ground and on top of that he's got all this amazing uh, supportive moves. You run Destiny Bonds. Although I feel like probably don't want that most of the time. But he's got Haze. He's got uh, Spikes, which is always awesome. Taunt, Toxic, Toxic Spikes. Uh, so he's got he's got a lot he can do. And on top of that, he's got you know attacking moves like Liquidation, Poison Jab. Uh, what uh, dark move do you get? Crunch. I guess he's stuck with Crunch. I mean, it's, that's okay. Yeah, Aqua Jet for priority, Bar Barrage, which is a new move. Uh, it's basically it's basically poison type uh, Infernal Parade, uh, except it's a 50% chance to poison, so that's pretty crazy. So it's I guess it's more like Sludge Bomb plus Veno Shock, except it's physical, so that's pretty hype. Uh, honestly, it's probably not even a bad move to run, right? Because you could run like that with T spikes and then like. What else? What else do you do? You run probably haze just in case, and then like uh, you can run spikes for the double hazards, maybe taunt uh, if you wanted. Uh, main drawback for this mod, I feel like, is it doesn't have any reliable recovery, and like you can't run leftovers because the whole point is the violate. But uh, 
I think besides that, this is definitely going to be a super interesting and fun mon uh, in low tiers anyway. It's probably not going to make that big a splash in OU or anything like that, but I think uh, I think he's cool. He's got a lot of neat stuff going for him, and uh, yeah, we, li we like to see Quillfish prosper around here because he's a cool mon and very underrated. So yeah, that's hype to see, but what's even hyper to see is we got over Quill Baby, the Quillfish evolution we've been waiting for. Yes, so over Quill, you use use them a lot differently from how you'd use Quillfish. Kind of reminds me of Porygon 2 and Porygon Z, where it's like they both have very different play styles. I mean, you could still run Intimidate and stuff like that, but I mean, uh, Bulk's okay, but I mean, with the Violet, Quillfish is actually bulkier, which is funny. Um, but I mean, you can still do uh, defensive stuff if you want. It's basically the same deal uh, as Quillfish as far as like his moves go. But uh, I think Overquill is actually more interesting as a potential Pokemon for Rain because it has access to Swift Swim. So I mean, if we look at the stats, like pretty solid attack and like 85 speed. When that's doubled with Swift Swim, that's not that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. So I think. Uh, Overquill has a really interesting niche on Rain as being like a Swift Swim Mon that isn't a water type. So if you don't want to stack up on too many water types uh, with your Rain team, then you could uh, consider using Overquill. And I think that's pretty interesting. And, and he also has access to Water Moves, so he can still, you know, take advantage of them while Rain is up. But, you know, on top of that, he's got his own Strong Stab. He's got uh, Poison Jab, Gunk Shot, Crunch, uh, all that. Bar Barrage again. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I feel like I kind of wish this mod had a better dark stab than crunch, but I guess it is what it is. I mean, it could be worse. Um, yeah, I just think he's freaking, he's a cool mod. Again, I don't think he's going to be crazy, crazy. He's probably he's pretty like standard, I think, you know, he's not, I mean, again, dark poison, great typing and all, but like, oh, and he gets sword stance. I forgot about that. Yeah. So, so he can set up swords dance, uh, on rain teams as a swift swimmer, so yeah, I think he's I think he's got some some potential. You know, he can do he can do some. Uh, I don't think he's great, but it, he's like he definitely has a purpose. Like he can he can do stuff. So I think that's uh, very cool to see. Also, I know uh, another set I've seen around is just like uh, like a hazard lead type thing, because like. Uh, I mean, get 85 speed's not the fastest, but it's still it's definitely usable, and like you can just like lead off with this guy and uh, you know get up spikes and die basically. Um, it's pretty cool. I guess you can still run Bar Barrage if you want, and then last move I don't really know what you run. Maybe like uh, T spikes. I guess actually you could also you could probably just run like Taunt just in, just in case, just in case. Yeah, this is, seems like a decent move set. Uh, just like lead, get up hazards, die. Like definitely, definitely could could be usable. Uh, so yeah, Overquill. I think it's pretty neat. Not amazing or anything. Nothing too out of this world, but like he's definitely very, very solid in my opinion. Next up though, we got Hisui and Samurai. Now this mon is pretty nutty. Why? Well, a few things. First off, again like Typhlosion, a very necessary upgrade to Samurai. Because Samurai has always been, in my opinion, one of the most like mediocre like uninteresting water types in the entire game because there's not there's not a lot about him that makes him stand out uh he's just pure water type and he has very like whatever moves uh and his stats are also nothing to to get too crazy over but uh now he's part dark which water dark amazing type and he also has sharpness which is an insane ability if you guys aren't aware because it's new ability in scarlet and violet uh it's like strong jaw basically, but instead of powering up bite moves, it powers up cutting moves or slicing moves. And uh, wouldn't you know it, this mod has a lot of those. How? What a crazy coincidence! One of those being Ceaseless Edge. Now, down yeah, you, dear viewer, may be wondering, what is Ceaseless Edge? Well, this move is freaking crazy. Uh, it's only 65 base power, which doesn't sound like a lot, but remember, it is sharpness boosted, so it's going to be. A lot stronger and like knockoff so also, also 65 base power but when it's got the boost it's also 1.5 so you know you know don't sleep it can it's stronger than you than you think at first but the the real crazy part of this move is 
it automatically sets up a layer of spikes every time you use it. And that is, I think, one of the craziest mechanics for a move they've ever added. Just like, it's like, it's, it's just crazy to me. Like, it's it's so zero drawbacks. Even if they switch into a resist, you're still getting a Bolero Spike for free and doing damage at the same time. It's like, this move's crazy. This move's crazy. And on top of that, it's got all this other coverage you can run with sharpness. It's got Aqua Cutter uh, for stab, or you can run Razor Shell instead because it's a little bit stronger, I think. But it's not... 100% accurate, but still. Uh, what else he's got? He's got freaking. Oh, he also has knockoff, so that, you know, there wasn't enough good about that already. If Ceaseless Edge wasn't a good enough dark stab already, uh, Mecha Horn, maybe in some scenarios. Sacred Sword with sharpness is like stupid strong. He's got Sucker Punch for priority, also Aqua Jet. Uh, X Scissor sharpness boosted, although I don't think that's like super, like, I don't think it's great coverage, but hey, it's there. Uh, yeah, this mod's kind of kind of crazy to me. Kind of crazy to me. Um, so I think there's a few things you could do with it. I think he does also get Swords Dance. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty pretty nutty. Um, and you could probably just run a, like a set like this. This is kind of like a off-brand Crawdon to me, because uh, Crawdon's not in the game sadly. But you could just uh, do something like this. Is a pretty good set, I think. Or you could also you could just do like full offensive. You could do like a bandit set, and then you can have like sacred sword or something. You could also like sub out uh, sucker punch for aqua jet if you wanted. Um, either one's fine for the priority. Uh, and I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't think like oh, also you can run aqua cutter if you want again because it's uh, 100% accurate, but they're both boosted by sharpness. So yeah. Um, I can honestly, I, this is, I feel like this is one of the few Pokemon where I don't think you want knockoff on it normally because Ceaseless Edge, I think, is just a way better Dark Stab because you, you just get up spikes for free. It's crazy. It's crazy. You could also run Scarf if you want it instead. Uh, and I guess if you run Scarf, you don't need a. You probably don't need priority. So I guess you could run knockoff in that situation just for the utility. Just get rid of items and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this spawn is pretty crazy to me. Um, yeah, as for Terra type, again, of like a lot like Crawdon, I think uh, probably best just like invest in your your dual stab, right? So either like Terra Water or probably uh, I'd rather go with like Terra Dark most of the time, especially if you're running like Sucker Punch or whatever. Uh, but, but again, if you have Aqua Jet, you could do Terra Water probably uh, just for the super strong priority. And also like if you like Terra Dark, you can just kind of click ceaseless edge and it's like whatever like it's pretty no no drawback no consequence this mod is just pretty crazy to me and like if you look at his stats they're not that insane i don't even know if they changed it from regular samurai did they hold on let me let me do a cross check um okay they switched okay they, sw they switched up a little bit now i'm actually they give him 15 extra speed so that's pretty that's pretty big honestly but he's a little less bulky um to compensate for the extra speed and also they swapped his attack and special attack for some reason uh don't know why oops uh but i mean yeah, you look at these stats and they don't seem that crazy but like i mean again 85 speed not amazing but super workable like great speed to run a scarf and again like, he, he has priority so it's not even that big a deal and 108 doesn't seem that strong but when you got sharpness and your moves are all boosted by it uh, you can hit harder than you expect and again you can run bandit you can run swords dance this mon i think this mon's gonna be very good this mon's kind of crazy especially like it's just the move like this move is so crazy i don't know how to feel but it's pretty hype so yeah samurai definitely a ma major glow up uh with this new form so shout out anywho next up we have lilligan speaking of glow ups ooh, this mon's this mod's dirty, so it's grass fighting now, which is cool. Uh, not a ton of those. We got like Breloom, Chestnut, those guys, but like, uh, you know, having extra typing, uh, not being because pure grass has never been great, right? It's pretty, pretty meh. Um, but I think the the real interesting thing with this mod is the abilities because he's got Chlorophyll and Hustle, Leaf Guard, Leaf Guard. We don't care about that. This mod, this ability sucks. Leaf Guard, eh, not. Pfft. Wow, hustle and chlorophyll—that's what we're here for. 
So first off, hustle. I'm not a big fan of hustle personally because I don't. I like my moves hitting, personally. But like you know, you can run like a wide guard or something or wide lens. Excuse me, if you want moves to be a little more accurate. Um, but the the other thing with this mon, that's <laughs> super crazy. These mod, they just gave mons the juice in PLA. I noticed. Uh, this mod has a victory dance. It's the only mon to have victory dance. Pretty sure it's a signature move. Uh, and it's basically like quiver dance, except it raises your your physical stats, not your special. So, uh, raises attack, defense, and speed all in one go, which is pretty nutty. Now, the only downside of that is this mod's not very bulky at all, so it doesn't really get a lot of chances to set up safely. But uh, if it does, hoo -hoo -hoo, if it does, oh boy, oh boy. I also have sleep powders, which like I don't know if you want to run that on the hustle set or do you no because hustle only activates um with a physical attacks yeah so i guess sleep powder isn't affected uh but you could sleep powder put them on to sleep and then like try to set up for free and of course it also has you know stab moves uh gets leaf blade it gets close combat great great uh moves to have also has pretty okay coverage uh it's got axe kick which is um yeah, you probably, you probably just want close combat anyway. It gets defogs, so that's cool. Uh, probably, I don't see many situations where you want to run it, but like, hey, it's there if you need it, I guess. Maybe like a draft or something, I don't know. Um, it gets Healing Wish, which is pretty cool. Ice Spinner, which is a very big deal, because, you know, Grass and Fighting doesn't really deal with uh, flying types very well, but when you got Ice Spinner, it's a different story. Uh, poison Jab, can hit like fairies and stuff. Uh, Stun Spore, Swords Dance, I mean, Swords Dance maybe, but like, I feel like Victory Dance is just better most of the time, right? Uh, maybe you could do something with Trailblaze, but again, with Victory Dance, probably, I don't think it is a big, big deal, really. Um, yeah, this mod is just freaking super hype. Uh, I'm a big fan, and also, because we also have Chlorophyll, remember, uh, this mod, I think, works very well on Sun, actually, uh, and if you're running it on Sun, instead of Victory Dance, I'd probably go with Growth instead because uh, you get a bigger, bigger boost. Uh, to actually wait, if you're never mind, probably if you're, if you're running Growth, you might as well just run Swords Dance at that point because uh, you're not really using Growth for the special attack boost. And also, uh, you know, if Sun's not up, then Growth isn't as useful. Uh, so you probably just want Swords Dance anyway. Yeah. Uh, Probably because you don't really need victory dance if you have chlorophyll already, right? Because your speed's already boosted, so uh, not a not a big deal, really. Uh, so yeah, you could do something like that. Uh, if you have, if you're on sun, you could even even run like solar blade if you want, if you're really crazy. Uh, but leaf blade also gets the job done just fine. Uh, and yeah, the only problem with this coverage, which is it's pretty good coverage, all things considered, is like. Um, the one problem with it is you can't hit a uh, Golden Go at all, uh, and Golden Go is a very common Pokemon, so that's a bit of an issue. And I've seen some people try to get around that with like uh, Terra Blast Fire, uh, which is definitely a you know cool set, especially on Sun, because uh, you know it gets powered up and stuff. So that's definitely something that you can run. But at the same time, uh, if you have this coverage, then you're walled by stuff like. Skeledurge and whatnot, so like, like run Leaf Blade instead, but then you're walled by like, uh, well, you're still walled by Skeledurge actually, so, um, yeah, what do you actually, isn't this mon just always walled by Skeledurge? Yikes, uh, but yeah, so you can like try to run like this, but then you're walled by uh, stuff like King Gambit. So like I don't know. I feel like it's it's hard for this mon right because it's, it's like got four move slot syndrome, where it wants um it wants like all this coverage at the same time, but it can't afford to fit everything. So uh, it's up to you really what moves you want to run on it. But yeah, I think regardless, uh, I don't think you can go very wrong with this Pokemon. And again, stats aren't that crazy, but like 105 in attack and speed, that's like that's good enough in my opinion. Uh, is fast enough, especially, you know, if you 
got chlorophyll or if you're using victory dance and uh, attack I mean if you're boosting your attack then you know it's not really much of an issue also I guess you could also run banded if you wanted to even uh, I guess that does kind of fix the four move slot syndrome right because then you can have all the, all your moves and stuff I mean again you still can't hit skull dirge but hey you know I guess after it turns into a fairy type you can hit it with like leaf blade or something but yeah um, so I guess this is like okay set. I'm not sure how strong this mon is with just choice ban because I feel like you know normally you do want to try to set up with it, but I'm sure banded is like is fine. Honestly, it probably gets the job done. So yeah, that's Logan. Very cool. Uh, next we got Hisuian Zoroark, who is weird compared to the other guys because he was already in the game uh, before Home came out. So uh, yeah. A little weird that he got released early, but I guess yeah, I'll just talk about him here with the rest of them. Because, uh, yeah, just for the sake of completeness and all that. So, Zoroark, he is dope. He's he's the best he's ever been, probably. Because uh, normal ghost, crazy type. Insane type. His type is, like, like phenomenal, both defensively and offensively. Because uh, pure dark before was, like, good, but it's, like, I think this is just, like, way, way better. So much better. Still has illusion. So is that pretty standard stuff? But uh, yeah. Also, a lot of these other mods, he's got a new signature move, Bitter Malice, which is a guaranteed uh, chance to drop their attack, which is pretty good uh, secondary effect, especially because like this move's not it's like fairly strong. I mean, not like strong, strong, but still, it's only like a little bit weaker than Shadow Ball. Uh, but I feel like the extra extra effect on it makes it like maybe a little more worth it because you know drop an attack always nice but I guess you could really sub it out with shadow ball and like either one's fine uh, in terms of ghost stab but yeah pretty cool this move had a chance to freeze in uh, Legends Arceus I believe or frostbite in that game so maybe uh, because it worked differently in that game maybe they didn't want this move to have the freeze chance which is understandable because that'd probably be you know annoying to fight but yeah, besides that, he's also got normal stab with a uh, hyper voice and stuff. And yeah, he's also got standard coverage Zoroark normally gets. Like extra sensory, dark pulse, flamethrower, focus blast, which again is like fantastic coverage for a ghost type. Um, and yeah, Spawn's just freaking, he's freaking, he's so good. He's so good. I mean, he's, he's UU right now. He kind of fell off, but I still think he's like amazing and uh, you probably want to run him choice either specs or scarf. I think specs is a little bit better, but that's just me. You can run scarf if you want. Uh, yeah, like he's and like 110, great speed tier. 125, uh, not too shabby at all. Not at all. Um, I think you also get trick, don't you? Or like switcheroo or something. Yeah, you do get trick, so you can run that. You can run freaking U turn if you really wanted to. Um, also, it's an option if you instead of hyper voice for. Uh, your normal stab, you could run Terra Blast, because uh, that is stab, still, it's 80 base power, which isn't bad, and then, uh, you could also have the option for extra coverage when you Trast Lies, uh, so that's very cool, I don't know what you really want to run Terra, uh, with this thing, I haven't had much of a chance to use it, maybe like Terra Fairy could be cool, uh, but you know, uh, whatever you do this month. I think I think he's just uh, super sick. You also run like a setup thing with taunt or excuse me nasty plot if you wanted to. Uh, but I think I prefer specs a little bit just because he's pretty frail and probably won't have many opportunities to set up. Uh, but yeah, this month's just sick. He's super sick. I think he's awesome. Uh, go try him out. He's a lot of fun, and also illusion stuff is always you know fun to play around with. Uh, so yeah. Next up, we got Braviary, who is uh, interesting. I'm not sure how to feel about this mod, honestly. Uh, but look at the stats. He's got good HP, good special attack, but everything else is pretty underwhelming, especially the speed. The speed is not very appealing. Only 65 is uh, not a good look, because you're pretty darn slow. Um, he's Psychic Flying now, which is an okay type. I've never thought it's like amazing, but it's definitely uh, has its uses. Uh, you quad resist fighting, so that's cool. Uh, but at the same time, I think you know, offensively, it's a little bit weak. 
However, though, uh, this mod does have some nifty abilities, namely tinted lens. So, um, you know, if you find like a steel type or something and it resists uh, your dual stab, well, with tinted lens, that's uh, that's not too much of an issue. It's gotten just like muscle past that. Uh, and he also has his own signature move, Esper Wing, which is a 80 base power, 100 accuracy, and it always raises your speed so it does uh kind of like help with that low speed stat still though it's a little a little too slow for my liking uh, but i guess you know if you can get this mon like get the ball rolling you could try to do like some setup shenanigans with it with esper wing uh and then you can run like a hurricane for your flying stab probably or i guess air slash if you want to not miss as much but like their slashes are just so weak, so I don't, I don't really go for it that much. Uh, and then you can honestly do something like, like this maybe, um, with a roost, like heavy duty boots, and just like, just go like full setup. So you got calm mind uh, to raise your special attack, and then you, can, you just click Esper Wing to raise your speed. Uh, so it's probably like a decent set, honestly. I mean, I think he's bulky enough that we, he can like afford to set up. Uh, Again, Psychic Flying is not the best type ever. Like, it's got some notable weaknesses, but I think, you know, uh, I feel like you can work around them okay. Uh, also has Sheer Force, which is always cool. Um, probably don't want to run Sheer Force with Esper Wing, because, uh, yeah, it kind of defeats the point with the speed boost and whatnot, but you can just run Psychic. And also Hurricane with Sheer Force is uh, pretty wild. Do not do not sleep on that. Definitely not, because that's going to be doing some crazy damage, assuming you hit, uh, which is pretty pretty big if, but hey. You can also run Heat Wave, with, which is also Sheer Force Boosted, which is hype. Um, and that like, helps out a little bit uh, against those Steel types and whatnot. And then besides that, you can run Roost. Uh, you run, maybe you run Agility, try to compensate for that speed. Um, yeah, I mean... I don't think you really need another coverage move besides Heat Wave, because I think that deals with most things. You can run U-Turn, maybe, if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe Agility. Perhaps, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, also, it's Defog, so that's cool. Definitely, you could probably like, try to run a defensive set on him, maybe. I don't know how good that'd be, but I mean, you could try. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Roost. And you can run Boots, or you can, if you want to be a little risky, uh, you could run Life Orb instead. So you get that Life Orb, Sheer Force combo, all that. Um, that could be pretty hype. Uh, yeah, I think this Mon is like, he's very, um, he's okay. Like, he's not, I mean, his, his move is pr pretty nutty, like, always getting a speed boost. Kind of crazy, and he does have Tinted Lens, but like, uh... It's like, I don't know, at the same time, he's, uh, I feel like he, he's a bit lacking. Oh, he also has stored power, so if you want to, like, set up, uh, run a setup set, that's also an option, but I feel like Esper Wing is just better psychic stab, because, like, you get the speed boost, so it's like, I don't know about stored power, but I guess it's an option. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this spawn's definitely, definitely good, but he's, like, I don't know, he's a little weird. A little weird. Um, I'm really not sure where he's going to end up as far as tiers go. Because I, I, like, at the same time, I could see him ending up as a low tier, like NU, but maybe at the same time, you know, maybe maybe I'm giving him not enough credit. Maybe he can, like, pull up an RU or, like, even UU or something, and maybe he pull some stuff off. I have no idea, honestly, but I'm very curious to see uh, what ends up happening with his Suian Braviary, because I think he's pretty pretty interesting. So yeah, uh, moving on, however, we got the big boy, the Suian Gudra. Again, another very, very necessary upgrade uh, from regular Gudra, because Gudra, Gudra always got the short end of the stick as far as the pseudo-legendaries go, because it's always been uh, by far the worst of them, and it's not even like a close competition, uh, which, I mean, he's not even that bad, 
because uh, he is still a pseudo, but like at least compared to the others, he's never he's never been able to to catch up really. Um, he's the only pseudo that's pure dragon type because all other all the other pseudos have uh, a dual type, but uh, Gujar's just fucking pure dragon, which is like fine, but it's like I mean, it would be nice to have a little more. Uh, and the stats are good, and he has good moves, but just like I don't know, he always struggled a bit. But now, now they've given him some extra love, as he so deserves. He's got that secondary typing now. Dragon Steel, amazing. One of the best type combos in the entire game. Uh, still has, you know, Sap Sipper and Gooey. Uh, he has Shell Armor now instead of Hydrations, which is like whatever, I guess. Uh, still think probably Sap Sipper's what you want the most, because just because like even even though he does quad resist grass already. Um, being fully immune to to a whole type of moves is always useful, uh, but I don't think you normally like you don't really run this for the the chance of the attack boost because I think he's still mainly a special attacker. Um, I guess you could run Gooey if you wanted to. That's like something to experiment with. But uh, yeah, I think the main thing you want to do with this mon is you do uh, a defensive set because he has body press, which is Awesome and acid armor or iron defense, but I think pretty sure acid armor is just better because it has more PP. Pretty sure. Uh, actually, do you, not, uh, you don't get iron defense. Well, well then. Um, yeah, so you just run acid armor, raise your defense. Body press does a lot of damage. Uh, you can run like protect, I guess, just to to get extra leftovers recovery because you don't have any other way to heal. Uh, so there's that. No, no, you could run like a uh, freaking. What do you, what do you got? Gudra, probably, probably just dragon stab, I guess. Yeah, probably just like dragon pulse or something. I don't know. Uh, I think this this guy, pretty, pretty decent with the, you know, rising his defense, body press, all that. I think definitely uh, has a has a niche. I mean, he's just at this moment, it seems like he's just so hard to take down, right? Steel type with like, like these stats, bro. Like this much special defense, and he can boost his defense. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's kind of crazy, kind of crazy. But also, I think he he can still be a great um, offensive mon because uh, you can run like you know flash cannon for the dual stab. Still has stuff like flamethrower and like uh, what else do you have? Ice beam. You do. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Uh, also, stuff like T Bolt, Surf, Sludge Bomb, the Hydro Pump, like pretty much whatever coverage you you could want. Um, you could run this guy. You could also run some like physical moves if you wanted. Cause, I mean, this physical attack's not that bad. They probably wouldn't want a minus attack nature uh, at that point. But yeah, um, I still definitely can put out some good damage. Uh, can rock with Draco like a spec set. This seems like it'd be fun. Um, or you know, a, a classic for for Gudra, just the AB set. Uh, just so you could you can just be unkillable with your freaking massive special defense, which is like just even even bulkier with the assault vest. Um, yeah, I think this mon has a ton of potential, and I think it's super super hype to see. Gujar finally, finally having having a purpose, finally being uh, living up to his his pseudo status. You know, um, I'm not sure if he's gonna be like a like a name brand mon in OU. Uh, if he's gonna hang around there, uh, honestly, I have no idea. I, I could definitely see him uh, see that happening, but at the same time, I, don't know, I could see him potentially falling down and ending up like a UU guy, uh, which I don't even think would be that bad. Because I mean, like. No, you 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 still you still rocking, uh, yeah. So we got Gudra, dope mon, very cool. Uh, love to see, love to see mons getting these big glow ups. Um, which speaking of Avalug, um, he sure didn't get a glow up. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, why? So let me do, let me just say this. I think this is the the one case where I think the Hisuian form is just like objectively worse than the than the original uh, you can make an argument for some but I think this is the only one where it's like 
it's not even not even close um so you may be asking well why 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 is this and Ava look bad i mean they gave them the rock typing that's that's cool right well um no actually it's not cool because if you look at Avalog, his whole thing is that uh he's he's a defensive guy you, you look at that big defense it's like oh okay I, I get it like he's supposed to eat hits but the problem is ice rock is maybe one of the worst defensive type combinations uh in existence like ice is already not a great defensive typing but you add a rock to it and it's not doing you any favors like what like okay i guess you're neutral to fire now cool but like now now steel is four times super effective fighting is four times super effective you're weak to ground you're weak to freaking water grass like it's just not it just does not help and i mean like okay you resist like flying cool but like it's, it's just not enough too many weaknesses to justify it so it's like i just don't i just don't really get it i just don't like He's got a new move, Mountain Gale, uh, 185, 30% chance to flinch. Well, you're not going to flinch anything if you're going last every turn. So, uh, yeah. He also has Strong Jaw now, which is cool, I guess, but I don't even know what bite moves he gets. Ice Fang, okay. Crunch adds... I don't know, bros. I don't know. I, I just don't think this Mon is it. I just don't think he's it. I think, you know... I mean, maybe, like, he still has Terra, but, like, I don't know. I feel like at that point, do you get rocks? You do get rocks. Okay, so maybe maybe there is a, a case to be made over regular Avalog there, but I don't know. I just think most of the time you're just better off running this dude because you just you do the boots, you know, it's sturdy, and the rapid spin, and the freaking recover, avalanche, body press and there you go that's all you need that's all you need oh but the ice type is still bad well uh we got this nifty terrestrialize thingy so yeah no no sweat don't worry everything's cool everything's chill so yeah i just think regular avalog's better uh sorry to sue you and avalog y you tried you really tried but um i just i, I think you missed the mark i'm sorry this is like the only mon on this whole list that I cannot I cannot recommend in good faith because I just don't I just don't think I don't think he has any reason to use him if I'm being honest so yeah sad to see sad times but anywho any oh I just bumped my mic excuse me sorry about that anywho moving on we got so in the Sijuai. now I think this mon is a little confusing because like unlike the other starters Typhlosion and Samurott where those were like objective improvements over the original mons in my opinion i think with decidui it's a little bit more complicated so for starters uh, he's grass fighting now instead of grass ghost so that's uh neat it's not like the best or the worst thing i don't, I don't mean like i don't know if you could say one type's better or worse than the other i think they're just kind of different um stats wise he's slower now than regular decidui which is never great uh especially because decidui wasn't that fast to begin with um he lost a little special defense, but got a little physical defense. Lost some special attack, got some physical attack. So pretty, pretty normal. Uh, oops. But uh, the the Lord Speed is pretty rough. It's pretty rough. I'll be honest, because like, you now you look at these stats and you're like, okay, pretty good physical attack, but like he's slow. Uh, and he's grass fighting, which like when you put it like that, it's like, well, there's another Mon who's a lot like that and is just like kind of better in every other way uh yeah so i don't know i don't really know but at the same time you know maybe in in lower tiers you could have uh, some more stuff also worth pouring out because i i forgot i neglected to mention he does have scrappy which is always always an amazing ability especially for fighting types for sure for sure it also makes you immune to intimidate which is dope so you can just like throw out your fighting stab and it's whatever very hype also like the others he has this new signature move which if i can find it yes triple arrows 90 base power high crit chance and a 50 percent chance to drop their defense and also a 30 percent chance to flinch so this move is just bananas this is out of this world with the secondary effects um 
I don't know which is better, honestly, this or close combat, because close combat is just like strong, reliable damage, but at the same time, you know, maybe maybe because he is so slow, maybe you don't want the defense drops, so maybe you just run this. Uh, and the chance to drop defense in the high crit is pretty pretty crazy, but yeah. Uh, besides that, pretty standard, like, Decidueye moves, you know, he still has defog, so that's cool. He's got bulk up now, which is sick. Still has knockoff, which is always, always uh, appreciated. He's got a leaf blade for the, the grass stab. Then beyond that, he's got Swords Dance, which is his hype. He's got synth Synthesis, uh, Sucker Punch for priority. He's got Trailblaze, if you want to try to raise that speed, I guess. Uh, U-Turn. Um, yeah, Shadow Sneak. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. I feel weird about this mod, because, like, I just don't... Because the thing with Decidueye, like, this form and the regular form, is he's always been, like, very versatile like he's got a lot of cool moves his stats are pretty like mediocre but at the same time they're very balanced so uh you can do a lot of things with him uh i think more so with regular decidueye because you can run him offensively or defensively but th with this guy i think most of the time he's probably just gonna go offensive especially since like grass fighting not the best defensive typing but uh yeah i don't know he's got a lot he can do for sure but i'm just not certain with like how uh how good he'll be at like doing those things because uh again it's just the 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 speed is what really is really holding the back and it's just like ah uh, ah like it's it's rough i mean it's like it's okay i guess but like uh uh i don't know man i don't know if it's it i don't know if base 60 speed is it i mean maybe again in lower tiers might have some some use case but uh I don't know, man. I don't know. It's rough. It's rough. We'll see, though. We'll see. I, I definitely... Oops. I definitely think he has potential, but we're just going to have to wait and see how people use him. Uh, yeah. Very... Jury's still out on Hisui and Decidueye, for sure, for sure. Um, so we'll, we'll just have to see. Uh, excuse me. Now, with all that, we have reached the... Uh, the evolutions. Well, we went over over Quill already, but that was with that was with Quillfish, so you know. Um, so, anyways, yes, done with the the different forms. Now we got the different evolutions, baby. Now this thing, well, things get really interesting. So, weird ear. Uh, he's normal psychic, which is okay. Type like pretty good defensively, but not very good offensively. Uh, and you look at his stats, and he's like, oh, he seems pretty. He wants to be offensive. Uh, still has Intimidate, which is awesome. Honestly, all three abilities are pretty good. Um, moves. Uh, he also has a signature move, Psy Shield Bash, which is 70-90, which is not it's not great, but uh, is a guaranteed chance to raise your defense, which is hype, uh, except, you know, this mon doesn't... He doesn't uh, get body press, so... Yeah. Um, you know, if they gave him that... That would have been hype, but uh, no, he doesn't. So he can't really use the defense boost for much other than, you know, just making himself bulkier. But, like, uh, I mean, is it, like, is it that worth it, though? I mean, it's got cool moves, but, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, this mod definitely, I'll just say right now, is definitely is going to be a low tier for sure. I mean, these stats are just, like, uh, is, uh, like again, very slow. He's got okay HP, but defenses aren't great. Uh, and he also wants to be like a mixed attacker, which is like, why? I don't know. I think this mod, like, he does have insane moves, though. Like, he just, like, look, look at all these moves. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy moves he's got. So I definitely think he has, like, some use case. I definitely think, like, in a lower tier, tier he'll be decent, at least. He'll be usable. He'll have something he can do in, like, any or PU. Uh... It seems like maybe, honestly, it wouldn't be, like, the worst mon in draft, like, for a low-tier pick, if, like, maybe, I feel like if you got this as, like, your Terra captain or something, then he'd be pretty, pretty decent, maybe, Could pull something off, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's got great coverage, it's got some setup stuff, like, uh, it's Calm Mind, uh, and, and Agility, uh, I just, yeah, I, mean, I don't know, I don't know. 
I definitely think he could do something with him, but uh, I don't think I don't think he's winning any awards anytime soon. So uh, I'm sorry, Stantler. Like you, they gave you they gave you another shot, and they they just they missed again. It's rough, but hey, uh, I guess on the bright side, now you can run. If if I like Stantler, yay, woo. Just, okay. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Cleavor. Now this guy. This guy's cool. This guy's very cool. First off, Bug Rock. Not like a crazy type at all. Like pretty mediocre, I'd say. However, we look at these stats and we got that 135 attack. Ooh, kind of nice. And like okay defenses. Speeds, not amazing. But again, 85, definitely usable. Definitely usable. But then we go over to the abilities. And he doesn't have Technician like Scizor or Scyther anymore, which sucks. But on the contrary, he has two other amazing ability sheer force and again sharpness and just like Hisui and Samurott who also has sharpness Cleavor also has his own signature move that is boosted by sharpness and wouldn't you know it also sets up hazards automatically whoa so yeah this uh stone axe it's like the same thing as ceaseless edge except you know it's a rock move obviously and sets up stealth rock instead of spikes which is also a freaking fantastic because like what's the uh, again there's no drawback you just click the move you're doing damage at the very least i mean if you hit anyway and then you also getting up your hazards like bro bro i don't know what what they were on and when they came up with these moves but these moves are freaking insane they're nuts they're crazy uh you also got x scissor for the the stab which is also boosted by sharpness um and then beyond that you got the uh, is it not a sacred sword? What the hell? That's some that's some bull crap, bro. They're robbing my man's. Well, I guess he still got close combat, but still, come on, man. Sacred sword, sacred sword would have been so clean. So clean. So yeah. This guy, I think he's actually gonna be pretty decent. Like, I don't know if he's gonna be OU material, because that typing is still like uh. But I mean I guess, you know, at the same time, Terra, Terra is always an option, so you could definitely run a Terra type um to you know get it around. Uh, if you want like a better defensive typing or something but yeah you can run like a choice band set uh rock that u-turn stab u-turn going kind of crazy or you could do like a like a freaking swords dance and then you can run like life orb or uh maybe instead you want boots just you know to dodge to sh dodge those stealth rocks just in case because those can be pretty pesky um you could also run like uh, just drop axes or run like trailblaze, so you can have like the dual, the double boost uh, set up at Swords Dance, and then raise your speed with trailblaze. That's an option, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, what else? What else? What else has he got? He's got stealth rocks, but like why? Just why? Why would you use stealth rocks when you got stone axe? Because it? it sets up rocks and does damage. What's not to like? What's not to like? He's got night slash, which I guess could be useful for like hitting golden go <laughs> but that's about it i guess uh he's got defog which is neat uh and yeah he's got sheer force too which like i guess he's got some moves that like it could take advantage of like rock slide um it doesn't doesn't have a bug move to use with sheer force though which is uh yeah I mean, you're not, you're not using Trailblaze with Sheer Force. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of Trailblaze, because the point is to raise your speed. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think Sheer Force is that good, honestly. I mean, like, it should be, but, like, he's just... I just think Sharpness is better, especially because since Sharpness works so well with Stone Axe, and, just, yeah, this mod... This is a cool mod. Um, I'm very interested to see where it ends up um because again i think it, the main thing holding it back is it's typing but at the same time again terra so who knows who knows i don't know if it's gonna stick around in ou but i think uh definitely definitely could put in some work in the lower tiers so yeah not like that low i'm talking like you you are you but yeah very cool very neat next up oh, 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 oh. i've been waiting to talk about this one ursaluna so this mon is a problem put simply uh this is probably the best of all the hisuian pokemon um like full stop 
Uh, in fact, there's a decent chance by the time this video is up, Ursaluna may be banned already uh, when this when this comes out. Which uh, I mean would not surprise me at all if this thing gets banned because it is uh, a menace, a demon. Uh, this Pokemon's not okay because uh, if we look right here, well, we look at these stats. Like, wow, wow, and, I, and you see the 50 speed, and it's like, well. You've been, you've been, Mr. Squad Leader, you've been saying these mons are bad because they're slow the whole video. Well, I mean, when you're, when you're Ursaluna, I mean, I think it's a little bit of a different story. Because first of all, look at his bulk. His bulk is ridiculous. Look at 130 HP. That is nutty. That is nutty. But more importantly than that, more importantly than, than its speed or whatever, is the fact that this mon has guts. Which is an amazing ability. So you can run that Flame Orb, get the guts boost, and... And this Pokemon has stab facade with the guts. And also, if you can terrestrialize into a normal type, and now you got like goober double stab on your facade that's guts boosted. And also, it's got strong ground moves like Earthquake and Headlong Rush. And. This mon can boost its speed, or its attack, excuse me, it can set up with Swords Dance. And it also has Bulk Up and Belly Drum, if you're really crazy. But like, Swords Dance is enough, I think. And then like, this mon also has all this insane coverage for like no reason. It gets Play Rough, gets Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Gunk Shot, Drain Punch. Like, like, bruh, uh, it's Close Combat, Thunder Punch, Stone Edge, Shadow Claw, Seed Bomb. Like all these moves, and he doesn't even really need it because like his dual stab is enough most of the time. I mean, if you're not, like, if you worry about Corviknight, you can run like Fire Punch, I guess. But like, if you like a plus one or plus two, excuse me, guts boosted facade with the Terra Normal, I'm pretty sure that two shots Corviknight every time. So I don't even think it matters that much. This Pokemon, just like, I encourage you guys go to the Showdown Damage Calculator. Just go in, like. Put in Ursaluna and then put in any other Pokemon you can think of and just see how much plus two Terra normal facade does and like the damage is just unholy. Like like just try to just try to find a mon that uh, doesn't get two shot by that or just one shot. This mon is disgustingly strong. It's it's uh kind of a problem. Kind of a problem. Uh you can also like I mean you can bump up the speed a little bit, you can put some EVs there and you can be like at least fast enough to outspeed uh, some walls that you'd be slower than normally but like uh, I just, I, uh, this mon's crazy this mon's crazy and again it's like well speed's not great well uh, dear viewer people have been getting around that because the the cool new thing to do with Ursaluna is just put it on trick room and just kill everything so yeah um, that's also always an option uh, you know, to get around that pesky speed stat. So yeah, this mod's broken. Uh, go use it. I'm very certain it's gonna get banned if it's not already banned by the time this video's out. Um, yeah, this Pokemon's just whew, something, it's something. But it's also it's just awesome. I love it. I love it so stupid strong for no reason. It's just it's just hype. Uh, so yeah, this Pokemon's sick. Uh, but yeah, anywho, moving along, we got Basculegion. I love Basculegion. So, first things first, evolution to Basculin. Water Ghost, sick. He's got two great abilities. Actually, three pretty good abilities, but mainly two you're going to be using. Swift Swim and Adaptability. Now, this is major right here. Uh, so, first thing, for out of the way, uh, Spawn gets Last Respects, which is stupid. This, mo this move's broken, um, which is why it's banned. Uh, and on showdown anyway currently but you know if you're using this guy like on the on freaking like in game you're playing like battle stadium wherever then freaking like go nuts bro go nuts this move is freaking disgusting um and don't even don't get me started with adaptability stop stop i'm gonna be sick i gotta, I gotta get, get this off my screen okay um so uh assuming you you're, you're uh, have good morals and you're playing on showdown where it's banned um, what else are you gonna run well 
uh, has a bit of a problem with Basque Legion, at least uh, this one. There's, there's two Basque Legion, by the way. Say say hi. Uh, got male and female. Uh, differences uh, in the stats is... Uh, do they have the same defenses? They do. Okay, everything's the same except the attacking stats. So, uh, male Basque Legion is much more of a physical attacker, but female Basque Legion, more of a special attacker, um, though not by that much. It still has, like, okay physical attack. I mean, special attack's not amazing, but hey. Um, so, yeah. That's the difference. So, uh, in terms of male Basque Legion, well, uh, with Last Respects being banned, it's a little bit of a problem, actually, because if we look, uh, my boy does not have very many good uh, ghost moves to click. Actually, you know, with, with Last Respects gone, he only has one, which is Phantom Force, which is not uh, not a great great option, because it's a two-turn move, and it's like, eh. It's like, eh, so it's, it's not not great. However, um, there is, is some a saving grace, because, you know, again, he still has Swift Swim, and he also has access to Wave Crash. And wave Crash is a stupidly strong move, especially on this guy. Um, especially if you have him in the rain, you have the Swift Swim, and if you have a Choice Band, uh, kind of, kind of disgustingly strong, if I do say so myself. And on top of that, you can run, like, Liquidation, if you, if you want an option that doesn't have Recoil. He also has Priority with Aqua Jet, which is Hype, um, and yeah, not a lot of coverage, unfortunately. I mean, he's got moves like Psychic Fangs, and... Uh, well, you don't really want Zen Head, but right, Psychic Fang is just better. Uh, Ice Fang, maybe. I don't know. Crunch. Uh, yeah. But also, there's the option you could run Terra Ghost with Terra Blast, and then now you have some Ghost Stab, I guess. But, like, uh, honestly, if you're uh, if you're running this thing with the with Swift Swim on Rain, I feel like it's almost more worth it just go Terra Water and just like have the stupid like just disgustingly strong wave crash in the rain. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the, honestly, I'm not sure what to make of the male Basque Legion without last respects because not not having good ghost stab is like kind of rough for this mod, I feel like. Um, but it is a bit of a different story with the female. Uh, I think for this form, I think it's better to run adaptability over Swift Swim because, uh, I mean, this one still has Wave Crash, right? But it's not, it's more of a special attacker, so it's not a as worth it. Um, but I think this Mon is way better at using adaptability because it actually has reliable ghost coverage. Who would have thought? Because it's got Shadow Ball. Since it's a special attacker, it can use Shadow Ball pretty well, pretty spammable with the specs and adaptability and all that. Of course, it's got like Surf, or you could run. Hydro Pump if you're if you're crazy like that, uh, and yeah, and then you also got Ice Beam for coverage, and this is pretty, this is a pretty solid mod I think. Uh, adaptability has always been one of the best abilities in the game, uh, and especially when you got a typing as good as this, uh, that's just like like not a lot resists both of these things. They just like it's just super spammable with adaptability. I think this mod is. Um, Pretty solid, honestly. I feel like people people are always hyping up the, the male one, but I think females also just as good, if not better, honestly. Because like, I think the big plus to this this version is like you don't. It's not like limited to rain as much. I think it's much much more versatile, which is always a plus. So yeah, uh, you can run modest, you can run timid, you can run whatever. I think this mod's pretty pretty sick, pretty sick. Um, male's still pretty good though. Don't get me wrong, like like. Banded wave crash with the stab and the rain is kind of kind of kind of spooky, kind of scary. But yeah, I don't know. Again, no no physical good physical ghost move is rough. But hey, uh, I think he'd still work around it. So yeah, I think he's, both these mods are very cool. I don't think they're amazing. I don't think they're going to be top tier or anything. Um, and I don't think this mod's like it doesn't have enough special attack to where it's like really like it'll be. Uh, like super insane with adaptability and it can just like break through everything i don't think it's quite that strong but like uh, also i think you probably want to go terra ghost right just just spam a shadow ball it's probably the best option right so yeah um actually wait no because adaptability adaptability and terra don't actually stack well because that'd be broken so yeah maybe maybe you don't want terra ghost maybe terra ice nah probably not because that's like that's um 
uh, you don't want to be a pure ice type, do you? I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's another downside of adaptability mods is don't use Terra very well, because if you guys aren't aware, um, the the boost you get in stab from Terra when you have adaptability, it's like uh, weaker, because like, again, if you had adaptability plus the boost from Terra, like, that'd be, uh, that'd be a little too much. But I think that only applies when you t turn into when you Terra into a type you already are, like if you, if you if you Terra into a like a different type, then I think you still get the adaptability buff on top of that. As long as you have a move that's stab when you're Terra'd. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, adaptability always great to have. Um, yeah, I think these mods will be pretty good, but I don't I don't think they're gonna be amazing or anything like that. I think they each have like a little bit holding them back, but still, I think they can perform uh, just fine, and I think they'll, they'll be pretty solid. Next up, we have Sneasler. Oh boy, this man, this man is kind of crazy, and it's kind of kind of stirring up a bit of controversy. Um, so first of all, these stats. Uh, ooh, ooh, yes. Uh, say say less, please. Ooh, uh, I love I love a man that knows what it wants to do. And they give it they give it the stats it needs. Just like a bunch of speed, a bunch of attack, and that's it. We're good. Which honestly his defenses aren't even that bad. I mean physical defense, eh, but like 80 HP, 80 speed def, totally usable. Um So yeah, these stats are great. Uh poison fighting. A cool typing. Not the best, not the worst. He is quad weak to psychic, which is like whatever, I guess. Um also weak to ground, flying. Uh, fairy is neutral, so I guess that's something at least, but, uh, yeah. Um, also offensively, you, uh, can't hit other poison types, which is kind of rough, but, uh, he's got, like, pretty good coverage, honestly, I think, right? Like, I mean, nothing too crazy, but he's got, like, uh, he's got Fire Punch, uh, Night Slash, which is not, I mean, Night Slash isn't great. Knock Off would be better, but, hey, uh, Rock Slide, Shadow Claw. Uh, so I mean, again, he's you know, coverage isn't crazy. He's got acrobatics. Uh, coverage isn't that good, I guess. But I, um, in terms of abilities, he's got again three pretty good ones. Um, he's got pressure, unburden, and poison touch. I think unburden and poison touch are probably more useful than pressure on this mod. I mean, pressure is okay, but it's not like I think you get more out of it with one of these abilities um and uh so the main thing with this mon that's uh i mean you look at everything i mentioned like you know he just seems like a, like a good mon right but like the thing that tips him over the edge a little bit and why some people don't like him is because of his signature move dire claw which is 80 base power 100 accuracy physical poison move as a 50 percent chance to sleep poison or paralyze the target. Yes, you heard me right. It has 50% chance to do any of those things uh, to your opponent. And also keep in mind, when you got Poison Touch, then it's like an 80% chance to poison, uh, potentially. So that's crazy. Um, yeah, this move, people don't like this move, which you could probably guess why. Um, it's just kind of like too much. Like, like, it's a good stab move, and also just like the chance for status, and like it's just like 50% is a lot and like especially like you can you can chance to put him to sleep is like really crazy so yeah I mean I don't know what's gonna end up happening if they're gonna ban this mod or if they're gonna ban this move I don't really know I mean if they if the move does end up getting banned he still has like poison jab and gunk shot and stuff like that and those can get the job done just, just fine but uh, yeah I don't know this move's pretty crazy uh, and then beyond that of course he's got his fighting stab with close combat um, it's got fake out, which is cool. You can do like that's one way you can use unburden. Uh, you can have fake out, normal gem stuff, classic. Um, that's an option. Also, if, if you run an unburden, you probably want uh, plus attack, right? Yeah. Um, also, another thing I've seen uh, is people. A different way to use unburden is people running um, acrobatics with a white herb and they run terra flying this is a cool set honestly i saw like people came up with this mainly as a way to beat 
uh, Great Tusk, because Great Tusk kind of walls this spawn, but uh, with an acrobatics, what you do is you just like, uh, you have Terra Flying, so you get Stab, uh, and then the idea is like you use Close Combat, you drop your defenses, then White Herb activates, they get reset, and then you don't have an item anymore, and then acrobatics can just like go crazy. So this is a pretty cool set. Um, it is a little bit situational though, and also kind of requires you to use up. I guess you don't have to Terra, but like it's preferable, I guess. Um, yeah, definitely a cool set. Uh, but again, Poison Touch also like gets the job done. Uh, you can run like Life Orb, Swords Dance. Um, I don't really know how this mod hits packs, which is a bit of an issue, but yeah. Um, maybe we can run like Terra Blast, something, I don't know, probably probably something to get around it, but hey. Um, yeah, I don't even know what like what is the best coverage to run. Um, it's got Quick Attack for, for priority, I guess. Um, I mean, Night Slash is like, I mean, Dark dark coverage is good for him, but it's like Night Slash is like, ugh, like it's Night Slash, bro, like come on. Come on, bro. Couldn't have given him a knockoff, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, but yeah, you can run like Banded too, even. Since he does have U-Turn and all that, uh, you can even run like freaking... You can just rock out with Gunk Shot and just like do crazy damage. Yeah. This mod's good. This mod's good, guys. Like, I mean, with these stats, how could it not be? But like, I don't know. I have to see what happens with it. Um... Dire Claw is probably a little too much, but uh, personally, I'm hoping if they do anything, they just ban Dire Claw instead of the Mon, because, like, I don't know why. Like, if it's just the move, like, just ban the move, because, like, he's the only Mon that gets it, so, like, uh, yeah. But again, even if they ban it, like, it's not a big deal, because he's got other options for poison moves, right? So, like, he'll be fine. He'll be fine, but yeah. This Mon's pretty good, guys. He's pretty good. Don't sleep on Sneasler. I feel like he's going to be. Uh, a bit of a bit of an OU staple, at least for a little bit. Uh, again, like the fact that he can't really do much to other bulk, like other poison types, like Pex and stuff, is a bit a bit of an issue uh, for sure. But uh, again, his workarounds. You can even run like freaking I don't know, like Terra Blast Ground. Like screw it, just like just do like this, and this, and like yeah, just like just full send. Probably isn't even that bad of a set, honestly, but again, you are kind of restricted because you have to use Terra up on him. Uh, so it does kind of like less less options, but hey, hey, he's still he's still pretty saucy in my opinion. I think he's definitely uh, worth using. Anywho, last but not least, we finally made it to the end. We got the new genie in town, Enamorous. With both forms, of course, because it's got to have the Therian form like the other one. So, Enamorous. This Pokemon is super good. It does... Okay, well, let me... Let's, let's slow down. Let's talk. Okay, first, stats. Stats are crazy. Stats, stats are super good. 106 speed isn't the fastest, but it's definitely definitely solid. I think uh, good enough for this mod. 135 special attack. Crazy crazy good uh 115 attack is like pretty cool i guess but you're not gonna run this mon physically normally uh so yeah uh fairy flying amazing type amazing amazing type super good uh it's got q charm which is whatever and it also has contrary which normally contrary insane move super good move um but uh, this mon doesn't have a lot of good moves that can take advantage of contrary with uh do you get hammer arm do you not? Okay, you don't get hammer arm, but you do get superpower, so you can buff your physical attack, and again, physical attack's not bad, but it's just like it doesn't have a lot of good physical moves uh, it can use with it. Like, it's, it's play rough, but like, I mean, play rough's not the best move ever. Um, uh, yeah, no, f no flying stab. I mean, you could, you could run Terra Blast flying, I guess, if you really wanted to, but like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, this, I mean, like, you could, like, it's, it's something. Like, you, you could work with it, probably, but, like, I don't know. Me, personally, I'm not sure if the contrary stuff's worth it. I think, uh, this mon is just, um, I guess contrary is still useful if they, like, in case, like, they try to drop your stats, right? Um, 
so I guess there's still a use case. Um, could Q Charm could be useful sometimes, I guess. I don't know. But I think uh, what really makes this mod uh, so good. Actually, hold on. Do you get any good flying moves? Anything. Fly? Yikes. Okay, well, well there's that. But honestly, I don't think it's that big of an issue. Uh, again, you can run Terra Blast if you really want to, but I, th I don't really think it needs it because, um, I mean, Fairy Stab is always freaking amazing. It's got Moon Blast, um, but on top of that, it's got amazing coverage to pair up with its Fairy moves because it's got Earth Power and it has Mystical Fire. So, you got two moves to, to hit uh, Steel types with and also Earth Power to hit uh, the Poison types with. Um, and then you can run like oh, you don't get U-turn, yikes. Um, what, what else do you run? Uh, I don't know honestly. Healing Wish maybe. I don't know. That could be something. Uh, if your specs maybe, maybe. Um, I don't really know. But again, I don't really I'd like. I don't think it matters that much because like it just like this coverage is crazy with these stats. Like, bro, <laughs> like is nutty. This is crazy stuff. Like, I don't think this mod... This mod's, like, not... It's definitely missing some things, like, you can probably notice. But I feel like if it had... If it had everything it wants, it'd be just broken. It'd be, it'd be too much. So I think it, I think it's just balanced enough. Because, like, again, like, everything. Like, the typing, the freaking... The stats, the coverage, it's freaking crazy. It's crazy. Like, I think this mod's gonna be very good. I think this mod's gonna be, like, OU as hell. Like, just, like... Like, I don't think it's leaving. Even if it is, like, um, it could use a little bit more. Um, also, it has the option, you don't even have to run, like, a specs thing. You can run freaking, um, you can set up with it. It has a draining kiss, uh, calm mind. You can do, like, sub. This is totally a workable set. Totally. You could do something like this, too. This also works. Honestly, like, fairy stab plus earth power is really all you need. Um, because that's like perfect coverage, basically. Um, yeah, and he also has like, um, some other moves you can mess around with, like taunts, always cool. Springtide Storm, which I don't really recommend using, because I think Moon Blast is better, personally, because, you know, AD accuracy, not great, not great. Yeah, Sludge Bomb, cool, I guess, I don't know, Psychic, um, yeah, Grass Knot, I don't know, I don't, like, I think this mod, like, it just has basically everything it needs, really. Like, just, it's got just enough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I just think it's very good. Um, pardon me. My cat is trying to climb around. Excuse me. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, let's not forget to talk about uh, the Therian form, which um, I feel like it's probably not going to be as good. Just because, like, you know, like, that speed and, like, that speed is, like, yikes. But, um, but at the same time, like, it's, it's a lot bulkier. Uh, much, much bulkier. So that's, uh, kind of helps uh, deal with the low speed. And honestly, I think that, like, calm mindset, um, I think, uh, this form... Is like even better at doing that because because it has that bulk right uh so yeah it's just like the same thing drain and kiss all that like this, this is a very very solid mod i feel like with this set i don't really know what else you run besides that i mean i guess instead of sub you could do like um because it's iron defense so you could do either or um probably works fine and yeah i think this mod with like calm mind plus draining kiss will definitely be uh really really solid I'm not sure if this thing's gonna be OU. It might like drop down to UU, but I still think you know, very, uh, very good Pokemon in its own right. Uh, yeah, I think they're just both insane. And um, yeah, I mean, all all the genies are always good. I feel like they're just like none of them are bad. And like that goes like the same for this one. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't really, I don't think I have much else to say about them. They're just like they're just super good. And I think they're gonna definitely gonna see them around quite a bit. Um, even if they are a bit limited, I still think they're super, super strong. Uh, should definitely not be overlooked. But yeah, that is all of them. 
as all the Hisui Mons from Legends Arceus. So we finally got them in the game. We can finally mess around with them. Uh, gonna be a fun time for sure. Because uh, a lot of these Mons are very cool. Have a lot of neat stuff going for them. So I'm very excited to use them in the future. Um, but uh, I've been going on long enough. Um, so I'm just going to wrap it up here. Uh, if you made it to the end, thank you uh, so much for sticking with me for like this whole hour and a half video. Uh, kind of crazy. Kind of went on pretty long, but I had a lot to say about these guys. So hey, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it, and I will catch you all in the next video. Take care.